Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to create a basic web map using Leaflet and Map Tiler for the base map. So the first thing we need to do is get a HTML editor. Today I'm using Visual Studio. You can also use Notepad++ or Sublime. I'll leave a few links down below in the description. So let's go and get started. So we need to get that basic HTML structure. So here in Visual Studio, I could select HTML and exclamation point. When I do that, I could get a basic HTML structure. So first thing we want to do is add a div element. So we can set the map ID and, and style the map. So we're going to say div ID equals map. Oops. And we're going to close that off. And the second thing we're going to do is under head, we're going to add a style. Okay, I'm just going to close this off. I'm just going to do this really basic here for you so you can follow along. And we're going to do a hashtag map. And we're going to establish the position. The position is going to be uh, how it's going to frame inside the web browser. So we want it to extend to the whole, the whole extent. So the position is going to be absolute. Okay. And the top, bottom, left, and right, we're going to make those all zeros. So top is zero, bottom zero, left side is zero. Finally, right side will be zero. Okay. So now under the head, we want to add a couple snippets of code from leaflet, the style. So let's go ahead and go over to my web browser. Sorry, I have a dual monitor here. So if we go to leaflet.js.com forward slash download, we scroll down here, right here, we're going to have a, a few snippets of code we want to copy. So let's go ahead and select that. Copy that. Go back to our editor. And let's just paste it right here. Okay. Good. So now under body here, I'm going to add a script tag. Okay, close that out. So here we're going to add um, a variable map equals all map. And set view. Set view is going to be how it's going to be the latitude and longitude and the level of zoom on the map. Okay. So latitude. Let's for right now. Let's say latitude and longitude will be zero, and the level of zoom will just give it say one. Just for right now. We will come right back to this in just one moment here. Good. Okay, so now for the base map for, we're going to say L tile layer. Here, we're going to put in a link for map tiler. So if you don't have an account, you could create a free account. You just simply go to maptiler.com. Otherwise, you could go to cloud.maptiler. And from here, let me just go back up here to maps. Uh, Cloud.maptiler.com. Cloud and there's all these different base maps you could you could uh, add. I'm just going to do satellite hybrid for now. If you scroll down to raster tiles right here, let's go and copy that link. Go back to our editor. And let's put it right in here, right in between quotes there. 
Okay. And do a comma. And we're going to, we're going to, um, give it an attribution. Attribution is given uh, credit to the source. So let's say attribution. Okay. And back to where we got our file from. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom under license, if you copy that, come back, it's right in here. Okay. Now at the end here, we're going to add this to the map. So we're going to say dot add to map. All right. So let's go ahead and save this off. So we'll go to save. I'm just going to save it in a folder I have established already. Call that to save. And let's go ahead and run that. Great. So here's our map. And let's go back to that latitude and longitude. So we can have it starting off at a particular point, um, particular extent in zoom. So if we go back, and that's right here. So if we go, say, to like Google Maps, if we just create a point somewhere, say, like in the middle here, just a random, and we just copy out that latitude and longitude right here come back to our editor and we can replace that zero zero latitude longitude here with our new coordinates and we could change the zoom level from that one and say five and we will go ahead and save that go ahead and run and as you see it's centered more on north america here and it zoomed in a little bit. So anyway, hope that helped. And uh, if you have any questions, as always, please leave a comment down below and I'll get right back to you. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe. We'll see you next time.